Okay, the first thing I want you to do is to open python.org. This is the Python's official website and we are going to head over to downloads and on the right you can see Python 3.12. At this point this is the latest version of Python but in the future you might see a different version. Don't worry and download the latest version. And if it doesn't say the operating system that you're using on the top, on the left you can choose the correct operating system, such as Mac OS, Windows and other platforms. Okay, after clicking you will start downloading the installer and once it's done we open it. So for installing on Windows, we want to click on Use Admin Privilege and add Python to Pat. For Mac users, the installation is simpler. They just open the installer and they just click Next and agree to the terms and they just press Install. Okay, now you have Python installed on your computer. Next, we have to install Code Editor. We use the Code Editor to write our code and execute it. The most popular editor for Python is PyCharm. PyCharm is very beginner friendly. It will highlight any errors that you make and it will help you to fix them. So to download it we have to go to jetbrains.com PyCharm and we press download. On the top you have to choose your operating system then scroll down and press download PyCharm community edition. Once it's downloaded open the installer and press next until you see install. So for the Mac installation, once you open the installer, you just have to drag and drop the PyCharm to applications and that'll be it. Okay, we have successfully installed PyCharm. So let's click run PyCharm and let's click finish. And we are greeted with welcome to PyCharm. So click new project. Over here we provide the name of the project. And then we can provide the location of the project. And once you are happy with the name and the location you press create. So here we have it, our project inside of PyCharm. In this window we can see our Python project. And at this point we have only one folder. Currently we don't have any Python files. A real Python application contains hundreds or even thousand Python files. So let's create our first Python file. Right click on Python project, then new. Then we want to click Python file. And let's name it main. Click enter. Let's close this window and at this point we're all done. Now let's type your first code. Type print parentheses double quotes and inside of these quotes let's type hello world. And on the right we have a green play button. This is how we run our code and as you can see small window popped up at the bottom. This is what we call terminal window. And you can see that we have our text that we just typed, hello world. So this was your first program. You just typed a command for Python to output the text that you have wrote. Thank you for your time in behalf of CGEV.